I'll let you in on a secret. Today isn't really a holiday. I'm not even sure what day today really is. Down here in Torvis Junction, nobody seems to concern themselves with days at all. But seeing as everyone's been so glum since Leisha left, I figure a holiday's just what the doctor ordered. Look around if you don't believe me. There's Ona sitting like a lump, tapping away, waiting for his fortune to just stroll in off the umbilical. Corvus isn't a whole lot better. He's been poking at that same stupid weapon since, well, since a long time ago. This place needs a jumpstart before we all start gathering dust. This place needs a holiday. Well, now we know why the Jared's Hold boys haven't checked in. How am I going to break this to Torvis? He's already been a mess since Alicia left. This might put him over the edge. Little Wick. Still living the dream. Somehow he and Silas managed to get out of the game with enough wand to retire on. It just goes to show how far a lifetime of hard and dangerous work can get you. If there's anyone on this ship that can appreciate a good holiday, it's Wick. This is not good. Dead Van Tier. Fresh scintilla blood. No corpse. Foe's been taken. They couldn't have gotten far. This is definitely not good. The Vantir are expanding again. If I were a betting girl, I'd wager foes somewhere on the other side of that portal. I guess it's up to me to pull him out of this mess. One, two, three. Yep, that's a lot of Vantir. <laughs> There's foe, just like Wick said. And just like Wick said, I'm too late. I can feel the rage choking up in my throat. They will pay for this. They will all pay. The surprises just keep coming, don't they? Everybody's favorite little princess has finally returned. Terrific. Now I get to be the one to break the news about Foe to her. To convey his last words. Maybe she knows something about the gladiator that snatched him. Or why he was taken. Or why the Vantir had him executed instead of enslaved. So this is my little present. I didn't even know Harbinger still had functional shuttles. Still, I should let Smiley know. The next time he's feeling generous, a girl always appreciates flowers. The next generation gladiator model. He looks two steps off the assembly line. Not a scratch on him. That's easily remedied. I don't want to see what left those marks, but they're still fresh, and knowing my luck, these Santilla were only an appetizer. The Colobine's lifeless eyes stare through me. The shock takes a moment to register. Magnificent. The energy of this place courses through me like something, something alive, indescribable. If this is going to be our new home, then count me in. So this is the future of Ages 9. When Harbinger pulls away, this place will be left to the bugs. I'd better take care of this problem now, while they're still young and squishy. There appears to be enough water here to keep everyone happy. No, maybe Ona won't have an excuse for that smell. I don't know what Torvis expects me to find here. It's not like the bugs are going to have a big sign flashing human brains here. Oh. Simicide raids are the best. Nothing breathes life into a bad day like squishing bugs. Of course, there may be some unpleasantness if I get caught. 
These labs are run by a particularly nasty bug named Tarsus. If half his reputation is earned, I'm going to have to watch my step from here on in. So Wick was right. The Simicid are experimenting on Gubis. Time to grab what I came for and find the nearest exit. Just what I've been looking for, and still no sign of Tarsus. I had half hoped he wasn't real, just a fabrication to scare outsiders away from these labs. No such luck. If I take a hit from one of those blades, this is going to be a really short trip. The twins, Croton and Capra. This is the new face of Simicidae, a ravenous combination of insect tenacity and Gooby's durability. If the Simicidae aren't stopped, we're going to have a whole lot more to deal with than just these two. While Am lies asleep, sleep, sleeping, the Columbine comes a creep, creep, creeping. Rest well, Smiley. The death of Ballister will tear Centilla society apart at the seams. About half as fast as that key is going to tear this ship apart. It's time to head back to the junction and grab my friends. It's time to head home. Here are the little monkeys Leisha wanted. Safe and sound. I hope she doesn't expect me to play wet nurse for him when we get to ages nine. They are kind of cute though. Silas. Wick. Silverbacks. I see the Overlord has decided to take a personal hand in things. I've brought this on myself. Now it's time I finished it. I'll let you in on a secret. Today isn't really a holiday, but it should be. The Overlord lies dead. All around me, Harbinger devours itself. My friends await me in paradise. No, today isn't a holiday, but tomorrow will be. Tomorrow definitely will be.